Hey guys, it's Amanda from Anapocalypse. I thought this would be a nice background my fish tank today. Um, I just want to do a quick update. So at the end of this week, I will be taking home my school's beta fish, which should be exciting, so I'll probably do a video on him. His name is Echo. Um, I want to compare personalities between him and my fish, but that should be fun. That's just my update. Um, so today's video, we're going to be talking about reliable sources for um, help with your pet care. So I've always had a strong opinion that the information that you get from a chain pet store like PetSmart or Petco is never really correct. Um, every person will tell you a different answer that works there. So I try to find reliable sources that I can use on my own. Um, there's a lot of like personally owned small businesses that are pet stores that usually can be very reliable, but you have to you know do your research. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over some books. So, this is the Chinchilla Handbook. Um, it's, it's called, it's by Barron's, that's the broad company. Um, it's by Sharon L. Vanderlip. Um, I thought it was really cool because it had a lot of pictures and diagrams. And I know it's hard to see, but. And I liked how it's kind of really organized well. The main ideas are to acquire a head, no, chinchilla, housing, feeding, healthcare, and breeding. Um, there's also a lot of reliable sources on different types of um, chinchillas and such. The second one is my ferret book. So it's by Animal Planet, and that's a pretty trusted source. Um, the authors, I can, oh. So, Dickie McKenney is the author. Um, this also is a really good book. And the chapters are about why I adore my ferret, which is basically legal issues, ownership, natural history, the stuff of everyday, everyday life, eating well, looking good, feeling good, being good. And I thought it was kind of cute. It's pretty funny. There's good pictures. Cute ferrets. Um, only thing I would say is there's a little too much information, as weird as that sounds, as in the pages are a lot of words, and I feel like they could have broken it up a little bit better, but I did appreciate um, the different chapters and the information that they gave at the back. Um, I don't own this book, but I actually, as weird as it sounds, the books that are like hermit crabs for dummy, dummies or rabbits for dummies are usually very good, and I highly recommend them. Moving on to websites, my number one favorite website would be hermitcrabassociation.com. Um, they have the best list of safe foods that really helped me a lot, and like just so many lists and important facts, but my favorite is probably the food list, it's very good. Um, chinchillacare.org is also very good, and you want to pay attention to the org. If you see a website with org, it's pretty trusted. Some clubs if you want to join. Um, the Ferret Friends Rescue, um, we've sent a lot of the ferrets at the shelter to them. They take very good care of their ferrets and have a lot of information. Another ferret thing is um, American Ferret Association. Um, some nationwide trusted for all animals would be the ASPCA and the Humane Society. I personally let work at the MSPCA, which is a branch off for the ASPCA. Um, both of those are very well. There's a lot of magazines that, they're not really weekly magazines, but they post every few months, like semi-annual or like annual, like every six months, and they'll just have a lot of information. So magazines about ferrets, Rabbits USA magazine, um, PetSmart uh, has a lot of magazines um, in each section, so you can go through and there's a lot of blank USA magazines. Um, some YouTubes that I watch, um, Aaron's Animals, Hammy Lux, and Budget Bunny. And for Nationwide Vet Care for the United States, VSAHospitals.com. Um, great for, because it can help you wherever you are. So, those are just a few. Um, I know I kind of had just specific animals, but that's just what I needed over time. Um, yeah, I just recommend, you know, doing your research and everything. I'll put the links in the books in the, in the description. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.